dearies, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Sith Inquisitor, episode 16, with the Foundry. So, we have now taken control of a Republic cruiser that will allow us access to the Foundry. It's happened again. All because I went back into the boarding party to go get bloody screenshot for the thumbnail. I always seem to forget <laughs> whenever I do something, whenever I go on a planet to do my class mission or something, I always forget to get a thumbnail. Because if you don't know what my thumbnails are, if you're not paying attention to those, it's basically just my character in front of whatever they're doing, whatever planet they're on or whatever area they're in. So, so yeah, that's how I do my thumbnails for my Dark vs. Light characters. Exciting, right? Hello, Jesus Droid. Wonder how many times you'll die this time. Hopefully none, but that's probably not going to be the case. Okay, so is uh, did we come out of this way last time? Yeah, we came out of this way last time. That's cute. And now we're gonna go through this way. Have they fixed the door, or is the door still destroyed? They fixed the door. Ah, oh, that's very cute. That's very, very, very cute. Uh, if I remember right, we are we are in the. I was gonna say we are in the right place, aren't we? Because if I remember, there were enemies here. Wait, no, this isn't the. Oh, uh, this must be a different part of the cruiser. Oh, I can't go this way. Yeah, this must be a different part of the cruiser. Oh, okay then. Oh, because of course we're right at the bridge. Yes, so it is a different part of the cruiser. Cool. It's the quicker way to get to where we need to go. All right. Helzun, set course for the foundry. Yes, my lord. Laying in course. Lady, Any words you mean? to the crew before the assault? Um, they're all screwed. They know their duty, and I'm not here to comfort them. Make the jump to light speed. Aye, aye. Engaging hyperdrive. Transmitting authorization codes to the Republic fleet. They're allowing us to pass the blockade. Approaching the foundry. Receiving transmission. This is landing control to Republic Cruiser Doran Sky. You're six hours off schedule. Is there a problem? Ah, uh, you're out of line, soldier. I won't be interrogated by some peon. Get out of my way so I can land this ship and make my report to your superiors. I'm sorry, sir, but I. Look, I can bring you into dock, but you'll need to remain aboard the ship. I can't clear you. Well, I mean, that's something, I guess. I wonder what would happen if I just disconnected. Hmm. I We're should docked. have tried it. Estimate two minutes until our fleet arrives and the battle begins. If I may be so bold, I suggest you take the offensive. <gasps> really? I was just going to take the defensive. I was just going to sit here and wait for them to slaughter us all. Oh, wait, that's the exit of the flash. I was wondering what that was. That's the exit of the flashpoint. I don't want to do yet. that. No, hopefully not for quite some time. But thanks for your concern, Androlikos. Who's ready to die? Because I certainly am not. Imperial ship has jumped out of hyperspace. Locked down all sections. Release lockdown. Wow, I didn't expect to go past all those enemies. Ooh, bonus mission. Can't be bothered. Which way am I even going? Um. That way, apparently. We'll stay behind to defend the step and guard your escape route. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, don't see me. Well, these guys will probably see me because they seem a bit close in my way. Oh, okay. Screw all of you! Can I even skip past you, big droid? Okay! <laughs> I've skipped past uh, most of the enemies so far. Um, having fun here! During the fleet battle, the Republic surrounded the foundry. We won't be getting reinforcements. This is probably going to be a short episode because of all the enemies I'm skipping. I just need to kill a few, and I'm level 36. But, eh, I'll probably do it when I get to the boss. Hey, guys. Bye, guys. Imperial destroyer fire lance has gone critical. <laughs> the Republic fleet is holding steady. This is one of the reasons why I do love the Foundry, especially if you're stealth. Um, well, I say, if you are stealth, because you can literally just skip past everything. Can you skip past the boss? Um, let's find out, shall we? Don't mind me. No, okay, it still sees you. Well, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> My I word. 
Oh well, I'll get to level 36 by killing this boss, so... Wow, I'm really out of force. Um, I was kind of hoping to do Crushing Darkness, but I need to wait until I get to 40 force. Crushing Darkness, only because I haven't done that in a long time and it does damage over time. Because why not? Oh! Oh, my heroic moment! I completely forgot that my heroic moment abilities were all replenished again. Lovely. Well, I'm going to use that. And then use that. And then let's throw a sticky bomb on you. Watch it explode and you die. You didn't die! Ah, there we go. Level 36 now. Whew. Okay, back to stealth. Oh, wait, no, because we need to do this thing now. Cool. And, um, who's ready for the big reveal? Are you ready? Stop. It's time we talked. I am the master of the foundry. Once the Emperor's prisoner, now the man you've come to destroy. I'm here to take the station. You happen to be in my way. Maybe you believe that. But your masters have other priorities. Three hundred years ago, I found your empire in the stars and stood against the Emperor himself. I was betrayed, defeated. I paid the price as the Emperor ravaged my mind over centuries. But I gave him nothing. I am proof that the dark side can be resisted. I resist the dark side too. Bull crap! You haven't resisted anything. The Emperor let you go and you led us straight to the Foundry. Your masters are hiding the truth. They don't dare to show weakness. Listen to me. I've seen the Emperor's corruption. He and everything he's built must be destroyed or the galaxy will suffer forever. You don't need to die with him. Surrender and you can wait out this war as a comfortable prisoner. Life as a prisoner wasn't good enough for you. You really think I'm going to give up? I hoped. You leave me no choice but to turn the foundry against you. These machines are extermination droids. My infinite army. Farewell. Casually walking away. So... Strange robed man has been around for at least 300 years, has a connection to the Emperor, was a prisoner. No, I can't figure it out who it is. Imperative. Extermination units converge on intruders. Psycholocutor and observer specialties report to tactical control. And has HK 47 on the foundry. <sighs> Still can't figure it out who it is. Just to make you aware, all of that was sarcasm, just in case you didn't get it. La 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 la. This assault is hardly an adequate test of foundry defenses. Please provide more organic meat bags to slaughter. Well, I'll be here in a minute, but it'll be you who'll be slaughtered. Um, so we'll just go and pass all the enemies. Still, this is good. This is seriously gonna be a short episode. Really, because I'm not killing any of these, because I just can't be bothered. My god, this is going to be the easiest one out of all of these to do. Objection. My master promised you would die horribly at my hands. At this rate, you'll perish well before then. How? No one's attacked me yet. And we're here. <laughs> Assessment. You have been exceedingly sporting during our hunt. I am HK-47, the Master's most faithful ally, once a mere assassin droid. It is now my burden and joy to command the Foundry's mechanical armies. You're awfully enamored of yourself. Objection. My pride is entirely warranted. The extermination droids are my Master's crowning achievement. They are equipped with bioscanners capable of detecting Sith genetic material. Really? Any organics with Sith ancestry will be slaughtered. This includes 97.8% of the Imperial population. Because it's funny because they had a very bad time trying to detect me. Maybe I'm just not Sith enough, clearly. Uh, Too bad my species doesn't have any Sith genetic material. There we go. Commentary. Unfortunately for you, the Master still wants you dead. Your bones will make excellent trophies to commemorate my return to assassination. And now to do the boss fight. 
which everybody kind of disliked because of how buggy it was. Hopefully it won't be buggy this time though. Prejudice set to maximum. Oh my god, I've just realised something. HK47 is bronze. HK51 is silver. And HK55 is gold. Well, yellowish, but still technically gold. Oh my god. So what colour will HK59 be? Platinum? Commentary. I hope my master will appreciate my efforts here. No, sadly not, because you'll be dead before he can even appreciate you. Oh wait, he won't even appreciate you because you'll be dead! Extermination units, converge. Please don't. Oh, they've converged. Great. Okay, hey again, HK. How you doing? Here comes the thingy. Let it go down, because there's no point in attacking him. Because there's no point, Jesus Droid. There's seriously no point. Okay, and destroy that. And destroy that. And destroy that. And destroy that. Remember, this is technically made for four people in mind, but because it's just me, I have to do them all by myself. It's annoying, right? Uh, I should probably kill the droid before it kills me. Okay, back to you, HK. Drop the orbital strike. And flamethrower you. Let's heat up all the things in your body. Hopefully they uh, burn. I gotta stop doing that as well. I always use my heroic moment, and then before it finishes, even with with any ability, before it finishes, I move or do something else. When I could get that little bit more damage in, it's stupid that I keep doing it. Hey again, HK. I barely did any damage to you. Oh wait, you are losing a bit of damage. Oh cool. I didn't think I could actually hurt you. Okay then. Well, I will hurt you. Do that, and do this one, got some droids coming out again, hooray. Are you still attacking HK while he's in there? Jesus droid, oh no, you've started attacking those droids now. Well, you you, you attack them, I'm going to attack HK, okay? HK, okay? Whoa, I always keep thinking that's going to smack down on me, and I'm going to get crushed. Can you actually be crushed by this? I actually don't know. Um, this is another reason why I hated this boss fight. Because when you're doing it solo, it takes bloody forever! Seriously, I'm going to leave that droid for the Jesus droid to kill. If the Jesus droid is still alive, you are still alive. Lovely. And I'm going to proceed on killing HK! Warning! Excessive damage sustained! Oh, did Jones, does this mean you're going to die in a minute? I think it does! At least this won't drop down now. Come on, hurry up and die already. And one last blow. There we go. Wow. 17,000 experience. Alright, let's kill this droid. And then we're done with that one. And then let's go all the way up to the final boss. Who, I still have no idea who he is. Phew. Anyone's guess. La la la. Ah, oh, the outside bit now. Where you could go on your mounts. Okay, let me come out of stealth then. Where you could go on your mounts. Because... Pretty. Ooh! Ooh, this is perfect! Know why? Know why? All Republic cruisers have been destroyed, but they're not retreating. Know why? What if I can get up here? Oh, hi! Because thumbnail! Oh, hi. So, you guys saw me then. Okay, how exciting. Um, but I'm going to remain in stealth because I don't want to be seen by anybody. But I can use my rocket boost while it's in stealth. And then force speed! And then skip past this boss because nobody cares! Can you hear us? They're using the Foundry's weapon system to hold back our fleet. You need to take control. Well, I'll try. It's gonna take a little while. I'm not even there yet. You would think the bigger the droids are, the easier they would see me. We've got oh, hi. Attacking the ship. We can't maintain a comm channel. Again, going back to my point, you'd think the bigger they are, the easier they'd see you. No! In fact, I'm going to go underneath this droid and see if it sees me. Okay, that 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 failed, but I thought it might be worth a shot. <laughs> I should have got around. Oh, and I probably could have dropped down as well. Oh, exciting. Hi, Jedi Masters and Champions. Bye. 
It's still so funny. No doubt the three of you that actually watch my episodes all the way through are being all, Oh my god, stop skipping all the enemies! All the experience you're missing out on! I'm level 36 for crying out loud! I'll do some leveling off screen if it makes you upset. Should we find out who this mystery person really is? <sighs> still, still baffles me. That HK unit you destroyed. He waited loyally for 300 years. I can rebuild him. But it won't be the same. Can't you see you're on the wrong side? The Emperor is death. For you, for me, for the galaxy. Oh my god, it's Revan! <sighs> death is nothing. Death is power. The Jedi don't understand that. I understand well enough. As a young Jedi, I went to war. I accepted violence and darkness, and the Emperor called to me from across the galaxy. He made me a Sith Lord and named me Darth Revan. <gasps> I killed for him. I turned on the Republic. But I have found redemption. 300 years ago, the Republic didn't know the Empire existed. How did you get the attention of the Emperor? I discovered hints of your Empire on dead lost worlds. Korriban and Malachor. The Emperor felt it, and he summoned me. I nearly destroyed the Republic, and that nearly destroyed me. When the Jedi returned me to the light, my memory was shattered. It took me years to track and confront the Emperor again. I tried to end him, and he murdered my companions and locked me away. Trying to justify destroying a whole culture to yourself, or just hoping to bore me to death? That's enough! All those years in his prison, I could feel him in my mind, drawing on my connection to the Force. But I was in his mind too, fighting him. Only I've been both Jedi and Sith, and found clarity in the Force. Only I understand him, and his death is my responsibility. There it is, the mask. Are you going to turn green and start looking like a Tasmanian Devil? Well, looking like, acting like I should say. Uh... You think you're the only Jedi who's ever fallen? You're one of thousands, Revan. And you're more deluded than most. Think what you want. It doesn't matter. I've saved the Republic twice before. I've fought Mandalores and armies of the Dark Side. You won't stop me. We'll see. Okay. Heroic moment out. Because why not? Yeah. So the reason. Power of the Force in balance. Yeah. If you could shut up a minute while I speak. Yeah. So the reason why the Foundry was also a great flashpoint was because you could fight Revan compared to Tyrell Five and the Maelstrom Prison, where, where you, you you kind of really didn't do much. Not 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 really. Um, so yeah, I mean you got to see Reverend, you got to have a lovely conversation with him and Reverend will be all like, oh yeah, I'll fight for you, but you didn't get to, you didn't, shut up, thank you, but you didn't get to actually fight Reverend, I think it's fair to say I would definitely be dark side in real life, because uh, I get angry. A lot. Oh no, you're gonna start dropping rocks, are ya? Hopefully, I'll kill you before yeah. any of them do any damage. Oh, there we go. As the darkness takes me, I am nothing. Yeah, you now can stop I it now, Joy. Felt, my friend. Oh! Oh, how lovely! 64,000 experience. Why did I get 64,000 experience? Okay. I haven't exactly completed the mission yet. And even then, that gives me only 39. Why did I... Okay. I haven't even completed that part yet. I haven't even done... I haven't even completed this yet. I should say. Okay. This is station control to the Imperial fleet. 
The foundry is ours. Fantastic news, my lord. We lost good men in the fleet battle, but we're mopping up the last of the Republic ships now. I assume the Jedi Master has also been eliminated. That Jedi Master used to be a Sith called Darth Revan. Yes. That's a matter we should discuss in person. As soon as we're secure, we'll conference with Darth Malgus aboard the flagship. You have my congratulations and my admiration. Fenir out. Fenir. Why sounds so French? Fenir. Anyway, let's go and uh, return to Mofenir. And hopefully get to level 37, if we're very lucky. Fenir. I'm back. The battle is won, my lord. The foundry is ours. And it shall be a fine weapon, once wielded properly. This is how the Empire will prevail, not only through superior armament, but through superior individuals. No other Sith could have struck such a blow, or defeated the heretic Revan. Uh... You could have told me who the Foundry's master really was. Revan has followers within the Empire, and the secret had to be kept. I apologize if you feel ill-used. You think I'm one of the followers? Two centuries ago, Revan was strong in the dark side. A fallen Jedi the Emperor took an interest in. But he rebelled and had to suffer. Now his story is ended. Not quite. He does have an expansion. You had no right to keep that information from me. You misunderstand your role. Oh! Our teams are going over the foundry. It'll take some work. But everything should be salvageable. Even the HK unit, if we bother. It may have useful memories, and it could be upgraded. Regardless, we have a new army, and a victory for the ages. One to prove no would-be Sith or Jedi Master is a match for the Empire. Celebrations have begun on Drummond Kass, and soon the cheers of the people will become a battle cry as the true war begins. The people have a new Sith Lord to adore. Me. Me. You rise through the ranks quickly. Enjoy the fruits of your success. With your help, the galaxy will become a much different place. Okay, thanks. Uh, choose one reward. Well, clearly this one, because I don't use shields. Level 737? Yay! There we go. Thank you. I said thank you. Wait. There we go. I've already... Not your time yet. Cool. So... Done the flashpoints now. So now we can just move on to completing chapter two now. Exciting. I'm not going to do a video of every single flashpoint because there's no point. There's really no point. So, until next time, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I shall see you next time. And a farewell to you.